Hey, we're just out here. First crop of the season, green beans. The funny thing, this, if you guys saw the original gardening video I did, those were the seeds I planted about, what, six weeks ago, I think it was? And we're already getting beans. Hey, what's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. Well, today we're not going to be in the kitchen. Part two of the three-part series that I'm doing, Gardening 101. A lot of you have been asking for tips and stuff like that. So this is about, I think it's about six or seven weeks later from the last video that you saw. Gardening 101, part one. Stay tuned. You're going to love this man. What you're looking at there is an onion. That's the flower of an onion. And it was one that was back, left back from last year in the garden. And it is just stunning. You know, I'm in the backyard this morning. As I usually do first thing in the morning, I come and I sit. Got to get my read on, got to get my, well, I wish I had coffee. This morning it was all about tea. And it occurred to me that I haven't done an update in the garden so consider this update number two gardening 101 part two and this is about i don't know maybe about six weeks maybe seven or eight, about seven weeks since the last video if you've not seen that video yet um on the channel here i will link it down below plus you can find it on the channel here i'm just going to show you guys a quick update on everything back here and leave you all with some tips now here's the thing Tip number one in part two of this Gardening 101 series is be prepared for a lot of work. Gardening is hands-on. I mean, if you look in between there, I'm trying my best to keep, keep the weeds away. And that is probably going to be the number one thing that you're going to have to be concerned with. If you guys remember, this is the lemongrass. We've got rosemary. We've got basil over there. Ah, basil over here. We've got um, parsley over there, the one that I pointed to earlier. The thyme that came up from last year. And as you can see, the bitter melon has started to take off. And one of the things you will need for the bitter melon, I don't know if you guys can see this, I have here sort of a wire mesh. So it'll climb and cascade all the way over. And not only that's what the plant needs, so when it starts going to fruit, and you can see there's a nice little flower right there. That's going to be turned into a bitter melon, but um, it helps to support the whole um, fruiting and everything else. Here we've got oregano, and I know I'm moving the camera fast. I got to purposely slow down. You have no idea how it's not as easy as you think when it comes to filming and stuff like that moving. And here is the blueberries, and you can see we've got some blueberries happening here. See, there's a whole bunch all in between oh look we do have a bit of melon we've got a little one here look at that and it's not the variety that I wanted hmm oh well so it goes we've got some fresh chives over here so yeah be prepared for a lot of work as far as weeding as far as building trellises and stuff like that as far as Staking the plants and when I say staking when we go over to the tomato over there I'll show you what I mean if you guys recall last year I in the last video I mentioned like this year. This is garlic um, That garlic was planted back in November of last year So it's been there all winter. It's growing up now and in between I scattered Jamaican kalu and there's a plant there or what we call chorai bhaji or spinach. So in between what looks like weeds in between there, between the garlic, it's really something I'm going to harvest. So I scattered seeds in there because I know I'm going to be harvesting this garlic in a week or two. And then all that Jamaican color there, yeah, your boy eating that after. So I'm multi-purposing the space as well. And we spoke about that in video one. Where if a crop is going to be done before the other, you may as well take advantage of the space. Um, I don't know if you guys recall... I planted well both you can see both things here the the green beans as well as onions and you can see the onions are, are starting to form now the onion bulbs and it goes all the way along the border here it's all onions and beans and speaking of beans 
Let me quickly show you guys something. These are the beans. Well, this is the first crop of beans which we harvested last night. And if you guys are following me on Instagram, you would have seen me post that. Um, I've got a couple recipes, a sort of a vegan recipe coming up with that. And I believe Sarah will be doing um, some pickled, some spicy pickled beans. So I don't know if you guys are into that. Maybe I can convince her to share the recipe with us. Um, and as I mentioned before, I like breaking up things with a bit of softness. And here we've got that lamb's ear. We've got the sedum that's going to go to flower pretty soon. We had a beautiful purple flower here. I don't recall the name, but I planted it last year. There's some beautiful blooms. It was really high, maybe about two and a half feet tall. A lot of bees and insects and, and hummingbirds were here the past little while. And another one of those new flowers I planted this year. Last year I planted this hydrangea and you can see the blooms are now coming in. The cherry tree, we spoke about the cherry tree before. I got tons of cherries off that. It's all done now. Cherry season is all done. We've got the strawberries just coming in. You can see a tiny strawberry very late this year. Should have already happened, but small thing. We ain't complaining. We're going to enjoy that strawberry. And I just love my lily. That is beautiful. It's beautiful lily, and speaking more beautiful, you gotta love my clematis, man. Just look at that beautiful burst of color there. Um, let's jump into the actual garden for a second. I'll show you guys. So we've got some peppers happening, and these are some scotch bonnet peppers. Yeah, the plants are really small, this and you can see I've been weeding. And maybe that's the, the biggest part about weeding. And the tip I'll give you guys is when you're walking through the garden here, uh, for instance, there is one weed I missed. Pick, you know, just dig it out. Um, and you really need to take the roots out. And my tip is to periodically walk through so then the entire area is not covered in weeds. So every time you take some up, it means you're, you're um, getting the garden nice and crisp, you know, so it wouldn't have a lot of weeds. Another one of my little border color, burst of color plants. Can you guess what that is? <laughs> Anyhow, so as we move on, you can see all the different varieties of peppers that I have. They're now coming up and starting to do good. Got quite a bit of beans left to pick again. It just seems as though beans is one of those things. You get a burst of crops, crop after crop after crop. The eggplant is starting to, to go to flower now, which I'm quite excited about. Oh, and when I said staking earlier, these are the stakes I'm talking about, some wooden stakes. And what you would do, you would put them next to the plant deep into the soil and that's going to and then you're going to tie the plants onto it so when it takes fruit it you would use it as support so they won't break uh, the branches of the plant well look we've got some these here these are white habaneros a lovely peppermint bursting of flavor and a bit of heat some of these here is insane heat i'll show you guys in uh, episode three of this little series that I'm shooting here, I'm going to show you guys that. Um, these are some ornamentals that I planted, ornamental peppers. And I'm going to be trying a couple today. Nice, a nice big fat one there. The plants are really tiny though. The other bit of work on maintenance you'll need to do is to, besides weeding and keeping the weeds down, is to keep working the soil and adding um, nutrients to the soil. For instance, in this wood burning stove here, I burn a lot of wood and all that ash, I don't know if you guys can see the ash in there, that is technically potash. So what I do is I take all that ash and I add it to the garden. I mean, so you can add manure, anything organic and stuff like that. And that said, my garden is fully organic. Here we've got pimento peppers. Oh, look, we got one going to color down inside there. Right there. We got the weary weary pepper over here tons of heirloom tomato and again you can see I use bamboo stakes to stake the plant off quite a bit of tomato in there this is a, a variety out of Italy um, and again they're all heirloom tomatoes here we've got some thyme we've got that shadow benny or culantro trying trying to come I don't know if you guys recall but um, 
my Malabar spinach or Pui Baji was struggling. Now, I want you guys to see something. That's one of the leaves. It's as big as my hand, man. I'm just loving the results that I'm getting. First year planting um, Brussels sprouts, a little cucumber plant. Just coming to flower there. So we've got adding back stuff to the soil and working the soil. We've got keeping the weeds down. We've got staking the plants. The other thing you got to pay attention to is watering. Oh, look at this. I just realized this one is in bloom as well too. What a beautiful flower. Oh, wow. Let's just pause for a second, man. Well, back to the watering thing, it's been raining the past couple of days, very humid as well, so I didn't have to water the plants, but last year I learned my lesson. It's very important that you water the plants early in the morning, and I'll tell you why. If you peep over here where I have my cucumber, I don't know if you guys remember, last year this entire thing was a massive cucumber plant. Um, this is like a baby to it. And look at that, we've got some nice little flowers happening there. Tons of cucumbers are going to come in. But because I was watering at nighttime, it created a fungus, and... I sadly didn't even get one cucumber over here. I don't know if you guys believe this or not, but see this bush here? That is one plant, one tomato plant. And to prove that it is tomato, look at my little beauties inside there, just getting ready to for Chris to participate. <laughs> my favorite little tomato, yeah? Um, cherry, look at that. So when I'm back here, I usually come snacking on this tree, but let's just keep going and going. Hopefully I can train train it to go up onto the onto the garage there. And finally, let's just move over here and I'll show you guys what I got going on here. It is harvest time now for these carrots. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but there's a carrot missing there and there's one missing here. Man, it's something I thought I'd only seen cartoons, but I guess whatever animal came and took my flicking carrot. Well, there you go, friends, an update on my garden, Gardening 101 Part 2. Be sure to watch Part 1. It's very interesting. Part 3, it's going to be more about the harvest and stuff like that, but always a pleasure to have you guys here with me, man. What's up, soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe. If you've already clicked subscribe, hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click.